Hello again guys. In this exercise we will be making an opening for the door and windows in the wall. In the previous video exercise we already make the walls by four possible ways. First of all we must identify what are the different sizes of doors that we will be making. And for the purpose of this exercise I will be showing a sample schedule of doors and windows and this will be our reference. This is our reference plan which is imported here. As you can see there are already doors and windows located on the plan. One thing that can help us modeling is by making a tag assigned for every objects as this will make exploring our 3D objects easy. On the tag window. I have created a tag name, line work, wall exterior, and wall interior. You can try to test it by clicking the eye icon. Let's jump now of making the opening. First toggle the back edges style, this will make the line work visible. Now zoom in the wall portion. Double click the wall group. Then use the rectangle tool. Make an assumed rectangle just above the where you want to make the window. Use the scale tool to align the left and right side of the rectangle. Use tape measure tool to create a guide for the window sill. Start click on the bottom then drag your mouse going up. Also make another for the top of the window. And use the scale tool to match the correct window height. Next we now push the opening to create the hole. Now turn off the back edges style and delete the guidelines. The second process of making a window opening is by creating first the measurement of the window on a spray shape using the rectangle tool. Use the scale tool to resize it or to input the desired value on the measurement box located on the lower right of the screen. Now align the window to the line work below it. To double check the position, use the tape measuring tool. Then turn off the back edges for now. Cut the window shape and then paste it inside the wall group. Use push slash pull tools to create an opening. And delete the guidelines. Now it is time to proceed to create a door opening. It is a similar process just like the what we have already. Made on the windows. By using rectangle tool. The scale tool and push and pull tool. Always check the schedule of doors and windows. Also always check the alignment of the opening and the line work. We can now proceed to the interior walls opening. As you can see the exterior walls is obstructing our view. We can turn off the exterior wall temporarily to have a better view of the interior wall. Now we have a better view of doing the opening. It's the same procedure. 
rectangle, scale tool, and push tool. As you can see the push command does not interact to the wall. It is because we make the shape opening outside the wall group. To correct this, we will cut the shape and paste it inside the wall group. We will now proceed to the other door openings. Double check measurement by using tape measure tool. You can also align the height of the shape to the nearest door that is already done. For now we are done in the interior door opening. There is only one door remaining near the kitchen area. We can now turn on the exterior wall group and proceed to make an opening in that area. We can also turn off the interior for the meantime to have a better view. Repeat the process then LYS check the measurement of the opening before doing the push pull tool. Now our wall seems looking good. There are more window openings to be done. Other way of making an opening is by using the other window surface as a reference. Copy it then rotate it same to the wall. And then copy it to the right position. Activate the show edge style to align the shape. Now delete this surface. We do not need it anymore. There are other more opening on the bedrooms. I think you can do it by yourself. Guys thank for watching. Please like and subscribe.